Hey guys, this is going to be just a real quick, short video, hopefully pretty short. Uh, it's going to be in response to Tom Lipton and his buddy Rick J. Uh, he was showing in his new meatloaf video that his buddy Rick just bought a Monarch lathe and it's missing what looks like a shaft that's going through here, like on mine. And they asked uh, in the video if anybody knew what that was. Judging from the pictures, it looked like a lead screw reverse shaft and lever system uh, like my Monarch is equipped so uh, I looked at the pictures and that's pretty evident that's what it that's what's that what's missing is the shaft itself which is this shaft so I've never really gone into discussion on how this works here so we're just going to do a real quick video so that Rick can see and Tom and whoever else is interested to know how the lead screw reverse lever works all right you've got a lever uh, right here, uh, let me make sure the camera can see you good. Okay, so like I said, this is the shaft here that is missing on Rick's lathe. And it goes all the way through the apron here and to each side. You've got a, a housing down here holding it. All right, you got a lever on mine. There's a lever here, and I believe they're all equipped with one. All right, so if you pull that lever, that rod moves and it turns and it changes the direction of feed whether it be for your lead screw or your feed rod. That's what changes the, the direction there. See, on a lot of lathes, you have a, a, a lever down here somewhere that you turn or move, and it changes the feed direction. Uh, the, this particular type Monarch doesn't have that. It's this here. So that's one direction of feed. That's the other direction of feed. So we'll go ahead and um, I'll fire it up so that you can see. Uh, how how it works and we might get some close-up shots. There's there's some other features on here these clamps that you can utilize also which I, I have never used but you could use it for certain ops. <coughs> uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that I don't I don't change this when I'm running really fast. I try to keep the RPMs to a, a lower level when I change it because you can hear those gears uh, engaged down on the end. So we're running uh, 200 RPM, uh, that's right about the, the high end, I like to change this. So we'll go ahead and turn it on and you can see I got the feed, the feed rod that's moving here. Okay, it's engaged there, that's on the down position. Okay, so with that, you're feeding from the right to the left. So if I want to feed it from the left to the right, I pull that lever up and it changes the feed direction down on this end. And you have a neutral there also you can go to. But you can see how the rod moves. It's, it's not real tight either. You can, you can actually grab this with your hand. You can do it with your hand if you wanted to. Okay. That also works with the cross slide as well. There it is feeding out. If I want to feed in, same way, because that's just changing your feed rod down there, okay? So, disengage that. Uh, there's a couple more features here. Let me change the camera angle real quick, and I'll show you what these little clamps can do. All right, so on mine, You've got a clamp here on each side, and you've also got a little bushing that goes in between there. And I have never used this feature, uh, but I can see where you could use it if you want to. If you want to use it on this other side to do some threading or some turning, and you want the machine to stop by itself, stop feeding, it just bumps into these stops here, and it'll move it. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and run it so you can see what I'm talking about. And this lever here, it's got a little bit of play in here. That's all it is. All right, so we'll go ahead and back, I'll back it on up close. So if I was feeding this way and I wanted to stop, let me get it closer. All right, we're right up here by it. We'll go ahead and let it feed in and watch it, it'll, it'll kick it down. Okay, 
so now it stopped feeding. Alright? So, like I said, you can do that on the other side also. And where I think that's useful is, is uh, for threading as well. If you're threading into a, a, um, a blind hole or something like that. Alright, so I'll do one more quick example of this. Uh, we'll use the, the uh, feed, the uh, lead screw instead of the feed rod. Oh, I'm, in, I'm in neutral. I was looking for it to turn, so. Alright, maybe you can see it's behind this rod, so it's hard to see, but your lead screw's turning. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and engage it. I'm just watching my thread dial here. Okay, you're, uh, you're threading, you're going down, you're threading. You pull it up to neutral to stop it. You don't have to disengage your half nuts. Pull it all the way up to reverse. You can let it, you can let it come on out. Clear your part. Go to neutral, readjust your cross slide, drop it back in, and keep going. So you can use that uh, when you're threading. And where I have found that very useful is whenever you're doing uh, a very odd thread, like I had to do some internal square threads, or you're doing a, a odd pitch, a fractional pitch, something like that, where you're not wanting to have to chase the dial every time. So, um, disengage it there. So, anyway, I hope that that was helpful uh, for both Rick and Tom and anybody else that's uh, curious about the feed rod system here. Uh, I hope I showed you how, I hope I gave it justice on how it works, but it is an interesting feature. By the way, this is a model 18CY. I don't know what model Rick's is. I couldn't see it in the pictures, but uh, I know the CY model is equipped with the lead screw reverse lever. So anyway, if you got any more questions, you can let me know. Thanks guys.